Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. I got a CCNA and CSENT video practice exam for you today on Frame Relay Fundamentals. In about 10 seconds, I'm going to have four questions up on the whiteboard for you. We'll go through those and then you'll see the answers demonstrated on live Cisco routers as always. So let's jump right into today's questions. Question one, between the DTE and the DCE, who sends the LMI and how often is the LMI transmitted by default? Question two, does IARP run by default on a frame relay enabled interface? Question three, at the beginning of the LMI AutoSense procedure, how many LMI are sent and how many are sent in response to that initial transmission? And then finally, question four, what does IARP do? Better know that one as well. We're gonna go through the answers in just a moment. Just a quick mention here, Head out to udemy.com slash u slash Chris Bryant when you get a chance. I've got a tremendous amount of free content out there for you, and even my paid courses give you an hour of free content. Uh, it's a great deal, and I've got courses out there for the CSENT, the CCNA, all the CCNP exams. We've got CCNA security pre-sale going on now and Security Plus and Microsoft courses joining in 2013. So we've got almost 8,000 people in those courses right now, and thanks so much for that. And as pay, a little bit of payback to the community, especially for my CCNA 2012 course, if you click redeem it right there and use the redemption code BULLDOG60, you will get into my CCNA video boot camp for $44, an amazing deal. And as you can see, we've got over 1,640 people in there right now. So head on out there and check that out when you get the chance. Now let's go through these questions and actually the answers. Between the DTE and the DCE, who sends the LMI? Well, actually both of them do. Don't get this confused with clock rate, which is only sent by one of those, right? And that's gonna be your DCE. Uh, the LMI is an exchange. It's going to be sent by both the DTE and DCE, and they both expect to see one come in. And you can see that default time here in the middle, or near the top, I should say, of show interface serial. And here I'm looking at serial zero, and you can see keep alive set 10 seconds. That's actually how often the LMI is uh, being sent and is expected, actually. And you can see a lot of other LMI information right here. As long as you see that sent and received continued increment, you're in good shape. Now, IARP, that is inverse ARP, and sometimes you're going to see it just meant set as inverse ARP. Sometimes you're going to see it as IARP with a lowercase i. Sometimes you're going to see it with an uppercase i. I just want you to get used to seeing it multiple ways so it doesn't throw you on the exam. And inverse ARP does indeed run by default on a frame relay enabled interface. Skipping down to question four, what does inverse ARP do? That's the protocol that creates dynamic mappings between our local DLC and our remote IP address. And it sounds fantastic, doesn't always work well in theory, and a lot of places you're going to see it turned off. And let me show you how to do that really quick in case you're not familiar with that. It's no frame or frame relay, and in the middle of all these options, this is what you're turning off right there, inverse ARP. So the command would be no frame inverse ARP, and that's it. Now question three, at the beginning of the LMI AutoSense procedure, uh, one of each kind of LMI is gonna be sent, and how many is that? That's three, right, and a little homework assignment. If you can't name those three LMI types immediately, you, you need to bone up on that. And I've got some videos on YouTube that'll help you do that. And how many are gonna be sent in response? One. Three LMI are sent by the initiator of the process and then the recipient of those three answers with one. And of course, it's in the form of the one that the recipient is using. So excuse me for that little bonus message there. Nothing going on there. And thanks so much for taking today's video practice exam. Like I said, we've got more of these for the CCNA and the new CCNA security exam coming out just about every day. So make sure to check the YouTube channel and the Bulldog blog for those. I'm Chris Bryant. Thanks for making TVA part of your success story.